I have a lot of patience and grace for people because I was there myself. I understand how difficult it is for deconstruction to take place. It's not easy. It's like we've been programmed by these doctrines and theological things for years and years if we've been around Christian things for a long time. I mean, you know, I was going to church since I was two, you know, Sunday school and everything else. I mean, I absorbed a lot of things. And I heard a lot of things and I was programmed by a lot of things. You know, so it takes time for people to become deprogrammed. And if they don't have the experiences, it's really hard because an experience will challenge a belief. But if they don't have the experiences, then you're trying to change a belief with another belief. So they're just substituting beliefs, which aren't testimony. A belief in something is not a testimony of it. And people need to have testimonies of God's love, testimonies of engaging with God, experiencing him, him speaking to them, him giving them revelation, him showing them things which do totally challenge their theological perspective and their beliefs. So if we try and challenge people's beliefs, all we do is upset them and anger them. Unless we've got good relationship in which we can talk and share and debate and open things up. But generally, if our thing is, well, great, I'm going to go out there and change people's beliefs. I don't I can't change someone's beliefs. I'll probably harden them in their belief if that's my attitude. So my attitude is to share my testimony of God's experience with me and my journey. And if people are on the same journey, they will come across that and it will be helpful for their journey. I don't want to connect with people who don't believe. Because all I'll do is make them angry with me and then they'll call me a heretic or whatever else, because that's where they are. So I want to connect with people who will resonate when they're at the point where they need something to point them in the direction that God is taking them. So I don't want to get in arguments and theological arguments trying to prove people wrong, whatever, because it doesn't really work. And all you do is you harden people in their position. So we've got to demonstrate love so that they see there's something different how, about how we function and help them when the time is right. And only do what we see the father doing. And if the father is not at that season in their life, we shouldn't try and force them into a, into something that they're not ready for. So we've got to be quite sensitive about who we share and what we share with them to make sure we're not giving them something. Jesus talked about, you know, they're not ready for strong meat. Or Paul did about meat, about milk. They need milk and they're trying to eat strong meat. Well, it, they can't digest it. A baby at uh, three months old cannot digest a steak. But they can digest milk. And Jesus said, look, there's so much I want you to know. I want to tell you about, but you're not ready for it yet. So I, I'm not able to because you're not ready to digest it yet. So let be sensitive to where people are and don't try and give them too much that will give them indigestion. You know, give them morsels and bites that will make them more hungry for more. You know, I used to think if I didn't tell someone now, then I'm going to be responsible for them not knowing. Well, I'm not the Holy Spirit. Therefore, I'm not responsible for changing someone's mind or renewing their mind. That is a work of the Spirit. All I can do is be working with the Spirit at the right time with the right thing. So I don't need to tell them everything all in one go. I can be just sensitive. Sometimes I don't need to say anything. You know, sometimes people will ask me stuff. That's great. Then I can respond to their question. But even then the response, I've got to be careful. I don't go overboard. Right, there's an opportunity. Great. I'm in. You know, I spend the next three hours basically bashing them over the head with stuff. No, I, I'm not going to do that because it's not beneficial to them and won't be helpful. Just be sensitive, I think, is the key in how we share and what we share when we share it. You know, yeah, Jesus sure. didn't tell them all everything. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.